Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create one of these side menus. This is what it looks like when it's full screen. And when you resize the window, it turns into one of these toggle menus that you can activate by clicking on this hamburger. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let's create a class with the name of app. And in here, we're going to create two children. The first one, we're going to use a element of a side, and we're going to give it a class name of sidebar. Let's give this a title with a name of menu. Now let's create our navigation in here. So let's create a pair of nav tags, and we're going to give these a class name of menu. Here we're going to add our links. We're going to give these a class name of menu item. And this is going to have another class name of is active. This is for the home page. Let's go ahead and copy this twice. And we're going to remove the is active class from these two links. And we're going to replace this home with about and this one with contact. Right, right under our side, let's create a main element. We're going to give this a class name of content. And in here, we're going to create a class with a name of hamburger container. And within this, we're going to create another class with a name of menu toggle. And this is where our actual hamburger is going to go. To create that, we're going to use a span with a class name of bar. And we're going to need three of these, so we're going to copy that twice. All right, right under our hamburger container is where the actual content of this website is going to go. So let's create a H1 in here, and I'm going to type in welcome. And under here, I'm going to create a P element, and I'm going to add a lorem of 20, just so you can see how you would go about adding content to this application. All right, let's move on to our CSS. I'm going to start this off by pasting a font that I'm bringing in from the Google Font API, but this is not necessary. You can feel free to use a different font if you want. If you want to use that one, then you can go ahead and copy what I have on the screen. All right, now I'm going to remove the margin and padding from all of the elements. And I'm also going to use box sizing border box. And I'm also going to change the font family in here. Right now I'm going to access the app class and I'm going to use display flex in here. That way my two children are right next to each other. And I'm also going to give them a minimum height of 100 VH. All right, moving on to the sidebar. I'm going to give that a width of 300 pixels. And I also want some padding of two RAM on the top and the bottom and one RAM on the left and the right. And I want the background color to be black. For the H2, which is the title of the menu, I'm going to change the color to white. I'm going to change the font size to 0.85 rem. And I'm also going to add some margin bottom of 0.5 rem. And for the links themselves, I'm also going to change the font size to 0 0.85 RAM. And for the menu items, which are the links, I'm going to use display flex. And I'm going to add some padding on the top and the bottom so the links aren't so close together. And I'm going to change the color to white and remove the text decoration. I'm also going to add a transition here of 0 0.3 seconds ease out for the hover effect and let's go ahead and create the hover effect now and we're going to add the same effect to the is active class and that's going to be a color of gray so when we hover these they're going to be gray and also, if the menu item has the is active class, it's going to be gray all the time. For 
for the content class, I'm going to use a flex scroll of one. So when we get rid of this menu here, the content class is going to take up the entire screen. I'm also going to use a padding of 20. So the contents aren't so close to the edge. And I'm going to add some margin bottom on the H1. That way it's not so close to the P element contents here. All right, for the hamburger container, I'm going to add a border of one pixel solid black so you can see what that's doing. A width of 100%. And I'm going to use display flex here because I want to use justify content flex end. All right, now for the menu toggle class, I'm going to change the background color to black. You can't see it yet. So let's go ahead and give this a width of 45 and a height of 45 as well. Let's make it round with border radius and also let's add a cursor pointer. And then for this one, I'm going to use display none because I don't want to see that yet. But I'm going to comment that out because I want to see it as I build it. But I'm going to go ahead and comment this before we move on to the JavaScript. For the hamburger class, I'm going to use cursor pointer, position relative, and top of 15 or 17 percent, excuse me. Now we're going to get access to the bar class, and this is where we're going to create the little bars that make up the hamburger. So to create it, we're going to use display block with 25 pixels, height 3 pixels. Let's change the background color to white, and we're going to add a margin on the top and the bottom of 5 and left and right auto. Let's also add a transition of all 0 0.3 seconds ease. All right, now we're going to create the animation that turns the hamburger into an X. And this is going to be activated through JavaScript by adding a class called is active. To create this animation, let's get access to our menu toggle. And then we're going to type is active. So as soon as that class is added, we're going to make this happen. So the first thing we want to do is get access to the second bar. And this bar is going to disappear off the screen. So we're going to set opacity to zero. Let's go ahead and copy this twice. And this is going to be bar number one. For this one, we're going to add transform translate y and and here we're going to add eight pixels and we're going to stack another property on top of this one and this one is going to be 45 degrees and let's change this from two to three we can copy this paste it here the only thing that we're going to change is here we're going to add a negative sign and this is going to be negative as well all right let's move on to our media queries that we're going to be adding for this project and this is what's going to activate the menu itself so we're at a max width of 1024 pixels is when we want to activate the or we want to be able to see the menu so we're going to do menu a toggle we're going to do display block and currently we're seeing it on the screen because we did display none here so let's go ahead and uncomment that and of course now we can see it because we added this class but if i comment this out then we won't be able to see it all right so we want to be able to see it at this point because we are at a max width or lower than 1024 pixels. 
All right, now let's get access to the sidebar and we're actually gonna make this disappear off the screen. So let's do position fixed, top zero. We're gonna do left negative 300 pixels. And let's give it a height of 100 VH and a width of 300 pixels. And let's also add a transition of 0 0.2 seconds linear. And we only want to see that menu when we activate the is active class. And we're going to be doing that with JavaScript. So at that point, we're going to set left to zero because currently it's negative 300 pixels. All right, let me go ahead and remove this border here. And just in case you don't want your, oops, not that one. I meant to remove this one. And just in case you don't want this black circle, you can remove the background here and change the color of your bar to whatever you want. So for instance, if you wanted this to be black, then you can do it like that. So either way works, it's just completely up to you and what you want it to look like. All right, in here, we're gonna start this off by creating a variable that is gonna store the menu toggle class. So let's get access to that by doing document query selector menu toggle. We can shift all down to copy this. And we also wanna get access to the sidebar class. And let's go ahead and change the name of the variable here as well. So this is gonna be sidebar. And now we're gonna add an event listener. So when you click on the menu toggle class, which is this here, this is gonna turn into an X and it's gonna reveal the menu. So let's do menu toggle, add event listener. And this is gonna be a click event. So at this point, we want to add or we're gonna to use toggle here to add the is active class. And we're also going to add the is active class to the sidebar. All right, so now when we click this, we should be able to see the menu. And when we expand this, we won't be able to see it because we want this to activate only when it's smaller than 1024 pixels remember we set the media query to that width so this is how you close it this is how you open it and this is how you would go about creating one of these sidebar menus that's going to be it for this video please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful and if you have not subscribed i invite you to subscribe to the channel if this does not work for you however you can feel free to hit the thumbs down leave me a comment let me know what happened maybe i can help you out and that's going to be it for me i'll see you guys in the next one Thanks for watching.